Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Escape from Tarkov. And today we are going to Customs. Uh, knowing full well that I'm probably going to have to do loads of raids on Customs. Um, just, you know, for the sake of doing all the tasks and everything. And for the sake of grinding a little bit too, like... Um, Getting hideout upgrades, materials I need for hideout upgrades. Um, there's a number of quests that you need to do um, just to turn in stuff. And Customs is a great spot to do a lot of them. So, yeah, like, basically keeping all that in mind. I'm still going to need to do loads of quests over here. But you know how it is. There's only so many maps in the game, and I don't really intend on starting to learn uh, streets just yet, especially without a map, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna go like this, pretty much. I have a... Well, an interesting spot to start from. I'm near the fort. And, uh... Well, there's just going to be loads of stuff to loot right now, and then... After I'm done looting, we can start talking about combat and where we're going to take our first engagements and stuff. Ooh, a fresh Glock 17. Okay. Full condition and everything. Okay, that's interesting. I want to see what sort of ammo it has. It has good ammo, too. Okay. Mm, keep that around. I definitely want the brighter variety of this. Am I really going to check all of these? Uh, if, I mean, I guess, right? Especially considering there's specific things I need. I mean, I already got a few of the specific things I need. That's two hideout upgrades just sitting in my in my pouch, which is, uh, you know, kind of funny. One thing I'd also like to know is where is my extract? My extract is ZB. Okay. Um... I don't know all the extracts on customs, which is, uh, yeah, well, it, it might be surprising to some. Uh, ZB013, I think, is the old gas station, right? No, ZB013 is, is something else. 102, I know, is one that's uh, open for a very limited amount of time. Gas station is also just open for a limited amount of time. I don't know exactly the times, but... Um... This door's supposed to be closed.
I need to get out of here. Yeah, I just need to get out of here AS ASAP. It's rare I get to search these stashes. They're usually kind of hard to spot. Still, the plan remains the same, we're just getting out of here. Okay, so far so good. Made it out of the danger zone. Ah, that's a problem. In fact, that's a considerable problem, what I just heard. I was hoping... that on the other side of this wall there wouldn't be much of anything, but... I just heard rustling of leaves. Okay. Ah, uh, really, I can't jump over that? That's a shame. I thought I could jump over that. Okay. was one. Where's the other? I thought it would go through. I see him. Okay, that should be it. As far as the scavs here are concerned, if I go quickly, I might even make it without too much of a fuss. 
Don't need that. I mean, still gotta be careful, but, you know. There's a shotgun for the task. There's a wallet, which I don't need, but, you know. A Vepper in 7.62, too bad it's damaged. And condensed milk. Yeah, let me just check the pockets and I'm out of here. Okay, yeah, overall I was pretty successful, I would say. really hoping the grenade would go through kind of exactly where I wanted it to go through, but no such luck. And I'm getting near one of the exit locations. Of course, I don't know if it's still open. But if it is, I'll gladly take it. And if not, I have a fight to pick down there. I just saw a couple people move. Is it still open? It is. Yeah, you know what? I'm leaving. Is that a 50 minute raid? Sure, because I've picked up a load of useful stuff. Um, I can get like three hideout upgrades. I can do a task. Honestly, I'm happy with this. Yeah, it's, it's a, the shortest raid ever. Killed one PMC and two scavs. That's fine, honestly. Um, and I took a bit of damage from... Really? Well, I got lucky. That could have been my head. Wow. Okay. I mean, granted, even without armor, it wouldn't do enough damage to kill me. But still... Oh yeah, by the way, I'm out of luck. I'm not going to get uh, insurance back on one of those, at least. But, regardless, yeah, like I was saying, like, I need the light bulbs. I need this. I'm just going to drink up, because, yeah, and then, look at this. Pick two of these up. You pick that up. Heating and generator ready to be constructed. And then, I need this. Gonna need this. Gonna need this. This I'm going to sell. Gonna need that. Security and gym for that thing. These things I'm selling. Uh, morphine I'm keeping, I think. One more of, yeah. Or actually, I can sell this morphine and I can keep this one because I can use this one for both the task and the other thing. Uh, condensed milk, two of. I get to sell both. Good bit of money here as well. This this I get to sell too. This too. The wallet. Uh, I don't really need it. So yeah, I'm selling that as well. And then... I mean, more or less, there you go, right? And obviously the shotgun for the task. What more do you want? Yeah, there you go. Perfect, right? And then, obviously, I can get this repaired with mechanic. Because I don't want to get shot at too badly. So it's going to cost me a bit of money, but that's okay. And then, trading tasks. Turn in. And there we go. 
debut completed. So, you got the job done. Probably just bought the shotguns off some trader for cheap, huh? See, I got the feeling you would say that. Actually, no, not at all. Got them the old-fashioned way, yeah? There you go. And then we have search mission, which is locate Praporter's missing convoy on woods and locate the temporary U US EC camp or USEC camp. And we also have luxury life, which is locate the liquor store on ground zero. And then once I do that, I think I need to grab the wine bottle on, on ground zero also. Uh, though I don't know if that's for him or for Ragman. I don't really remember. But I do remember doing that task. And then after that, I'm... Well, I still have a few more tasks that I know how to do off the top of my head, but honestly, not that many. Uh, and I am selling the Keta because I mean, it's it's nine times eighteen. Like that's it's just uh, let's just say that that caliber is not happening. Um, but yeah, like there you go. Easy, right? Now we can go to hideout, and then we can build a few things. For example, a generator. And then I can put some fuel in it. And then I can also build the heating thing. Well, there you go. Look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Um, and then, yeah, of course, I've now cleared up some more space down here. Good. Good, 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 good. Lovely. Um, and bonus is that I'm Pretty much geared up perfectly for uh, the next run. Question is, what do I want to do next? Hmm. Well, let me sell this first, and then I'll I'll come to a decision. Okay, so I've done a bit of thinking, and. For any next serious raid that I want to do, I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time. Like I'm probably need to go, I probably need to go to Ground Zero next, do the other two ambulances, and um, find the liquor store, right? Which is gonna take a while. And so, to keep this episode interesting, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Factory, and I'm just gonna go there with just the Glock and two magazines and nothing else. No armor, no well, and a little bit of ammunition. No medicine, no armor, nothing. Or do I do I want to grab like maybe a? You know what? I'll I'll grab I'll grab um, a bandage. I'll grab a bandage just to stop myself from bleeding to death if I get shot a little bit. But I don't expect to survive any of this. The idea is, I go in with just a pistol and I kill something, like even a regular scav, and I come back and I sell all this stuff for a little bit of profit, or I, you know, find something useful and, and run with it. Um, but basically, kind of like a zero to hero kind of thing, which I will do for future episodes. I have like loads of ideas to start off with just a pistol and just just. Um, Upgrade from there exclusively with what I find in Raid, not being able to buy anything. And to sort of, you know, gradually take things from there. That'd be fun. Hey, look, we've already made enough money. Ah, well, not really.
What do you think? Can we make it out of here alive with all this stuff? What the hell is a saddle? I've never seen this. What kind of ammo are you running? PRS. Jesus, I'm better off with a pistol. This is freaking hilarious, man. I'm doing more with... I could extract. I'm just being greedy and an absolute idiot. But I could extract with this. And make a good bit of cash. Why am I doing this? I've made more than enough. Okay, now it's enough. <laughs> now it's definitely enough. <laughs> Let's go. That was freaking awesome. I mean, nothing in the way of commentary, but... W what the hell do you comment in situations like that? Like, um... I'm just freaking. What did I get in the end? Uh, uh I mean, these are all low level, right? But still, like, <laughs> made it to level ten, and um, yeah. Terrible ammunition, terrible pistol, well, terrible pistol, just a basic pistol, right? Doesn't matter if you hit those headshots, shoot them in the face, really doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, dear Lord in heaven, there we go. 
Good kill, I'll get you next time. Sure you will, buddy. Sure you will. That was more than a good kill. That was just freaking hilarious. That is what that was. Uh, Alright. And here's what I did with my gear. I've just left it here. Like, this is going to transfer it over really quickly next time um, I'm, I'm fighting. But, yeah. Um, or, the, or for the next episode, rather. But, that's just... <laughs> there you go, I suppose, right? Um... The AK isn't much to look at, so I'm just going to sell all of this. The ammo is pretty terrible, too, I reckon. Yeah, it's all PRS, so none of it's any good. This is all green tracer, so I want to get rid of that, too. These I have plenty of. This is just a regular tier 3 helmet. I don't need it. The range is all right. Um, this is... Really terrible also. This isn't great. This isn't great. Although... Yeah, no, this is pretty terrible. And then... This I can sell too. But... I'll leave one of the extra Glock magazines there. Did I... Did I drop one of the magazines? I feel like I double tapped in in, in my panic and, and dropped one of the magazines. It's a distinct possibility that that's what I did. I need a few of these water bottles for the survivalist path. And uh, do I already have a few or am I I have a vodka bottle? I don't think I have anything else. I have two already. Ah, well, never mind. Um, still. Gonna drop that off there and drop this off. Eh. Don't really need it. And I'm gonna drop this off too. There you go. This gets sold. I got the backpack, though. Um, considerably better than the pillbox. Matter of fact, pillbox has got nothing on this. In fact, pillbox is kind of bad. This, on the other hand, loads of space in it. I can loot all kinds of things. Uh, oh, and as for the Vityaz, this is getting sold too because I already have a couple. But there you go. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty bloody awesome, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, hell, I can sell another. I can sell one of these two. I have so many of them. Don't really need them. And I've even picked up a nice rig. Uh, this is eighteen. This is twenty. Uh, not as nice as this one, but same amount of space. Yeah, same amount of space. Not as nice as this one, but still pretty decent. If you ask me. I've basically upgraded my gear from nothing to almost fully kitted out for the next run, which is, as I'm sure you can imagine, kind of awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's grab all of this. And then I guess I don't need the S-March now, do I even pick that up for myself? Ease. Now I have four of them. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take this helmet and set of those, I think, instead of bringing the really good helmet with me. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's go sell this now, see what I made profits-wise, because it should be. Fair bit. Well, alright, granted it's not as much as I thought it would be, but I thought it would put me a bit, like, uh, over a million. It, it hasn't, but again, it was free. <laughs> it's just, it's just free money and, uh, and obviously experience and stuff, so there you go. That was pretty funny. Okay.
bit of a, I guess, break in the serious tactical nature of everything and just sort of have a fun factory run and run through everything. Uh, next time, we're going back to Ground Zero, I think. Uh, I have to. Two tasks there, and... Uh, matter of fact, I can actually check as far as locations go. Yeah, I have two tasks on Woods, two on Ground Zero, and then the rest are any location. Uh... Except, yeah, yeah, no, no, the rest are any location, okay. Well, we'll see. Uh, I mean, I, I will eventually have to go on Woods, and I do have an idea for Woods. Scorpion sells a... Toz Simonov SKS carbine. Maybe it's 762 times 39. Uh, not the greatest long-range bullet, but for two, three hundred meters it'll do fine. It'll do more than fine. He also sells ammunition. Now, this rifle is extraordinarily expensive. However, it comes with a Burris Full Field Tac 30 1 to 4 times 30 rifle scope. CQ reticle. Illuminated center dot, large bright circle, instant target engagement at close distances, and so on and so forth. I don't like this, uh, even though I've spent a, a lengthy conversation with someone at a, at a gun store explaining to me that scopes like these are perfectly fine for close range fighting because they have times one magnification and because of their. Um, because the illuminated reticle and the size of the whatever, and it's fine, it's like an LPVO. Um, they're, 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 they're like perfectly fine. You get the magnification, you get it at times one as well, at times two, you can use it for all sorts of ranges. Like, this is the thing you need. And I'm like, I know what you're saying, but at the same time, I really like a red dot and a magnifier setup for an assault rifle style weapon, for like an AK style weapon. Ironically, in Tarkov, not so much, because the the only red dots that come with magnifiers are a little bit... I don't know, it feels like the zeroing's a bit off on them and I never really know where to, how to aim them when I need like a lot of accuracy. Um, but yeah, regardless, at any rate, these just feel wrong for close range, like they, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, though. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Who knows? Anyways, this is what I'm going to use for the Woods mission. Uh, I also thought about this weapon, because it's considerably cheaper. And it comes with... Uh, what is this scope? Yeah, it's just a regular 4X static magnification. Eh. You know... Not so great. Plus, it's chambered in like 366 TKM, which is such a weird caliber for a for a hunting rifle like this. I mean, I understand for semi-automatic weapons because of the uh, law in the Russian Federation and all that, but uh, hunting rifles, snipers, long-range stuff, just not ideal. But anyways, my plan was buy the 762 ammo, buy the Simonov, and just use that for woods. Uh, and if I can finagle a few extra magazines from Fence for the SKS, that will be lovely. If not now, then maybe next time, but that's the plan anyway. And now, though, that was two very successful raids. Very short, but very successful raids. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am wondering whether I should skip a few raids or not. Um, and I've been thinking about it, and I think I'm, I want to do all the raids where I get missions done, and where I do tasks, but if there's a few raids where I don't do a task, and I go just for to shoot stuff and to loot, I thought maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to skip those. However, most of these raids are fairly efficient and fairly action-packed that I don't really know if there's a point in skipping them. Um, but I'll, I'll think about it some more. Anyways, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to support the channel directly, there are options for doing so in the description down below in terms of Patreon and um, channel memberships.
if not a simple like, subscription, and you know, comment go a long way towards promoting the, the these videos. And I highly, highly appreciate you um, sticking around with me up until this point. If you if you could you know show me some love that that way by um, helping this channel grow, I appreciate it ever more so, I suppose. But regardless, by no means feel compelled to do anything. Even though I do ask you to do it, it's, just, it's it's weird, but I think I'm getting the message across. Like, it's just stuff that you can do if you're feeling extra generous and extra nice to, to help me out. But I don't, uh, I don't beg or ask for anything. Ladies and gents, I'll see you all next time with some more Tarkov. Until then, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.